I keep like slouching this whole video, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today is not a vlog. I know I've been doing vlogs like every single week and I haven't really had time to make like a normal like sit down, talk to the camera, straightforward kind of thing. So today I'm back with one of like, a, it's like a regular, I don't know. Okay. Wow. Today, I'm gonna do the small YouTuber tag. I'm considered a small YouTuber because I'm five feet tall. <laughs> Play laugh track. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I know I've kind of been babbling on this a long intro, but anyway, let's get to the video. So the first question, what inspired you to start making videos? So what really inspired me is that I always liked filming um, when I was younger, I always brought a video camera around trips, like field trips, just anything. I kind of had it with me all the time. Then I also had a normal camera that I would take pictures. So I've always kind of been into like film and photography kind of thing ever since I was really young. When going into high school, I kind of had the idea of doing YouTube videos. Then when college came around, I had the resources and the space and like ideas to do it and a little bit more freedom to do a bunch of other things that I really wanted to do. The location and situation brought itself onto me where I was like, mm, might as well try it. And so I did and here I am. How long have you been on YouTube and have you had any other channels? So I started YouTube my sophomore year in college. About two and a half years, I wanna say, I think almost almost very close to three and i actually also did have another channel i had a joint channel with my roommate who she's still my roommate you guys see her in all my videos we did a joint youtube channel because one of our other friends had he kind of started one he got kind of a little bit more famous not famous he got popular really quickly because everyone thought he was so cute so me and my roommate were like all right let's do this and see what happens just like whisper because i can still hear if you talk really loud <laughs> <laughs> You're talking really loud. Alright, good? Alright, we're gonna start off with an easy one. I am Drew. I something. Our channel is out there. It's called The Rebel Twins. One, because everyone thought we were twins. I don't know why. Maybe because we're the same height. And so I came up with The Rebel Twins. And so we kind of flowed with that. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> do people from school or work watch your videos and how do they find them? School, I go to big college. I tell my like friends' friends that I have a YouTube channel. I don't think a lot of them really want to watch it. That sounds really mean. But from work, it kind of came up in conversation. And so people actually kind of actively looked for it. Some of them subscribed. Some of them said they really liked my content. What does your username mean? So it took me such a long time to actually come up with like my channel name. I wanted it to be something that represented me and something that was understandable and like easy to find i guess my handles on like basically all my social media is utterly unfamous go follow me all my social media is in the description down below so go follow me i told my cousins and like my sisters about it they said no like don't do that that doesn't make any sense i have some of my rugby friends and on my rugby team they actually call me mighty mouse or some of them didn't like all, not all of them but like two of them they thought it was gonna be really interesting if i had my username as mighty mouse which i thought was gonna be super cute but other people told me like, no, don't do that. So I kind of just like focused in on my name. It's an easy name to remember. So, I mean, go ahead and subscribe. Why should people subscribe to your channel? I kind of want to be a YouTuber and a person who people come to and just talk to about things and watch my videos and be happy from it and just know that there is light in this world. I've been watching like Shane and Rylan Adams and Morgan Adams. They're the kind of people who I kind of strive to be like because they're always so happy with each other and they're always just joking around having a good time and just watching their video, you know you're going to laugh. So that's kind of what I strive to be, kind of like them, but in my own way. How many objects are your tripod made out of? Oh my God. Right now, my tripod is literally a tripod. Um, it's one of my dad's older tripods, so he let me, he just let me have it. When I was first starting out YouTube, I had, I ran to a Target. It took me 15 minutes to find the one I want, took the bus back to my dorm. I would only film when my roommate, Raquel, would be gone, because it'd be awkward if somebody was in the room. So I would like hurry and rip everything apart. Um, but there was one time where I was in such a rush that I like literally ripped my tripod apart. I was panicking, I didn't know what to do because I was like, I need to film this video right now. My little white rolly like 
closet drawer thing with all my textbooks and normal books, just like reading books. I stacked that on top of each other. So that was my tripod for a very long time. I just looked into the light, my eyes hurt now. Oh my God. What video are you most proud of? My two biggest videos that has the most views on it is my story time of my first kisses and then my roommate prank or the very first video that I made for that series. I didn't expect them to get so many views. So they're obviously very low quality. Those were made within the first year that I was on YouTube. So I get a lot of like dislikes on them and a lot of like comments like this sucks. Like obviously I didn't think it was gonna go that big. What inspires you to keep making YouTube videos despite not finding any fame? It wasn't really about the fame for me when doing YouTube. I truly wanted to make people laugh and smile and just have a good time. I wanted to also work on my artistry of filming, editing, photography, just everything having to do with the camera. I've been interested ever since I was so little. So I kind of wanted to actually work further into it. And I have enjoyed how far I've come from the beginning, being like how awkward I am and all the editing that I did. I'm gonna do 10 things about me because this is my very first video. So I don't know why it's like flipping everywhere. Oh my God. So let's get started. Coming from then to where I am now, I have grown as a person. What really truly inspires me is that I could possibly have a really great future with this, that I could cause people's lives to be happy and to have, you know, laughter and fun and them to laugh at me for doing stupid things that I do like all the time. But yeah, okay, so that was the end of my small YouTuber tag. Yes, I said it correctly. I hope it gave me a little bit more of an insight of who I am and hopefully, you know, check out more of my stuff because I really enjoy what I've done so far. Punch that thumbs up button. Go ahead and comment on this video. What was your favorite question or what would you like to see me do in future videos? Make sure to subscribe because I come up with a new video kind of once a week. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and remember, be the reason somebody smiles today. Bye guys.